Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Keisha here with Verify ATL, and I have the lovely Miss India Dior. Okay, Miss India, can you tell the people where you're from? I'm from Alabaster, Alabama. Um, what was it like being from? Well, are you still in Alabama, or have you like moved to Atlanta? I am currently in Birmingham right now, which is like only 20 to 30 minutes from Alabaster. Okay, um, so is there like a difference? Like, what made you move? Was it just uh, Birmingham's more city life? It's more like more clubs, more entertainment, and I don't know. I still go to Alabaster on a regular because my mom, she cooks every day, or <laughs> if I'm not eating what my manager brings. I'm always out of town also, so I don't know. I just, Alabama, though, that's Alabaster. That's where I'm from, Birmingham. It's just more, I don't know, more club and entertainment scenery. It's more faster at colleges. Everybody's out there in Birmingham. Okay, so like, how many female artists have came out of Alabama? I mean, I mean, I'm in Atlanta, I'm from Atlanta, but I haven't even heard of any female rappers coming out of Alabama. Honestly, I don't really. It's not really a lot of female rappers from Alabama. It's, you know, you got the male rappers as far as Rallo, uh, No Cap. You got people like that. You don't really hear many females. I mean, a lot of females are trying to make it i salute a lot i know it's a well-known uh girl named tk she got movement out of birmingham she's doing a lot i just feel like we're all we're all grinding hell i don't you, i don't think I, it's, it is a female that's ever made it out signed to a big label not that i know of i could be wrong but from my understanding it's not um do you think you're the first female rapper out of alabama to make it to atlanta at least uh no i think it's probably some girls that have a little you know what i'm saying a little movement from Cause Montgomery, they got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Montgomery, they do a lot of uh, stuff. Huntsville, it's a lot of females there. Mobile, it's a talent down there for real. I think everybody's trying to make it out right now. Okay, so what age did you decide you wanted to be an artist? I've always like used to write down. I was an athlete in school. Like I went to college for uh, playing sports. I always rap, but I never took it as serious. And until I started. Uh, I started off in a female group, kind of, with these uh, these girls. They did rap, but since they rapped and I started, like, you know, writing and I don't know. I probably was, like, a year ago, really, is when I really went to a studio and just started writing it. You know what I'm saying? Writing and recording. And I think I started getting serious with it when I started uh, opening up for artists at Side Effects. Like, my people, where I'm from, they... Uh, they, they'll come out and like support like that. They're not big on social media, which is I'm trying to get them there But they'll come out to a club and like support and so I started opening up for like uh, the uh, artists that will come to side effects and stuff and Leah she reached out to me and that's when I really started getting serious when I had somebody kind of behind me telling me like you going to the studio this week kind of like you know, you know what I'm saying mentoring me. Yeah, okay, so like how do you describe like your sound like are you influenced by anyone is it just something you just look like i'm gonna sound like this uh i think what i rap about that's me like that's just i kind of talk nasty but it's to the point i say what females are thinking you know like i'm influenced by trina uh i respect city girls because of they how they started where they came from they weren't you know what i'm saying they just went up, went off, and you know, just start doing it. Like they went, that wasn't their intention. They just wanted to make a song one day. I respect their hustle. Uh, I I I like a uh, little baby, money bag, little Kim. I mean, I'm I like all kind of music. Honestly, a pretty good lineup right there. So if you had to choose between like a little Kim and uh. I want to say Nicki Minaj because it's going to start some beef. <laughs> if, no, I'm going to say that if you had to choose between Nicki Minaj and Lil' Kim, like, who would you say you would be more influenced by? I mean, the reason I would say Nicki Minaj because this is the generation and you know what I'm saying? But I was kind of young when Lil' Kim came out. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I like that kind of music, but I'm more into, like, you know, fast faster artists like she's mm -hmm. not slow but she can ride a slower beat with you know biggie smalls them nikki i'm just right. the new generation but i like old school music and old school rappers but i don't know nikki because she's speaking about what's going on you know what i'm saying like now, it's current more females are going to be playing with yeah. she's you know 
Okay, so I see you just dropped a project. What was your influence? Well, can you tell us the name of your new project that you dropped? Uh, I just dropped a video on YouTube, uh, Free Game. That was kind of a song I had wrote uh, maybe like a year ago. And I perform it at clubs and stuff, but I wanted to go ahead and make it for a crowd. Like, like, did you feel the energy of the crowd back when you performed the song? Like, um, I do. I, I always bring like my little sister with me everywhere I go. So when I first start off, when I look in the crowd and if I see her, I'm just going with it. Like she, she opens me point. up. Yeah, like yeah. I'm just rapping it because I, you know, I'm yeah. going with it. Okay, so question. Being a female in this male-dominated industry, and I know you said you're new, have you came across any situations that made you feel like, okay, I don't want to do this if I have to go there and do that, or you know, has everything just been like easy selling peaches and cream? Absolutely. I actually, I lost my brother last year. Oh, It'll be a it. year on the 22nd. Uh, he kind of inspired me to rap as far as like, he was just like a hustler, like a grinder. So when mm -hmm. he would take the time out and listen to my music, like you gonna blow, like keep listening, like just his small encouragement, just telling me little stuff like that. Yeah. And I know I believe in myself, that pushed me more to, you know, keep going. And I feel like I just, I'm increasing every time. Like, I'm just very grateful. Like my brother, he made me really want to like, keep going. But at one point I did stop, like around that time, cause I was, you know, but that just gave me more stuff to write down and, mm -hmm. and rap about. Okay, so who would you say your top three favorite artists are? My top three favorite artists. Mm -hmm. uh, Moneybag, Lil Baby, and I'm gonna have to say Mulatto. Mulatto, okay, period. Do you feel like they influence your music in any kind of way? Like, do you ever catch yourself making a song like, oh, I like when Moneybag said this, I like that song, I'm gonna see if I can just ride that way, but not copy that style, but like, do they feed, yeah, I like, say feed off that? Mulatto, cause I feel mm -hmm. like she she's a nasty rapper and kind of just says what other people are thinking about, but not what, you know, what would say, so. But now I'll just get in that, cause how she's talking, that'll make me, you know, open up more. And yeah, I kinda, not necessarily would say that, but you know, getting on that, that groove and stuff, yeah. Okay, so with your music, this, this is a question that I always find myself wanting to ask artists. You know, when the artist, and like you said, you're new in the game, when the artist drop music or they decide, I wanna rap, I wanna be an artist, they their first thought is radio, or it's I wanna be on the TV or just a music video. Have you ever had the thought of, okay, like I know I make great music, but I want my music to be in a movie or let me make music for a movie so like when you make your music do you say I want to make music for the radio or make music for the streets I want to make music for TV I want to make music for elevators like have you ever had that thought cross your mind or you're just like I love music this is what I want to do this is how I'm dropping it I really not really because I, that's a good question like I never thought about making music like that you know yeah. what I'm saying because I usually just go in there, catch a vibe, or, I don't know, I, I since I'm more of a club scene artist, I kind of make just more music toward twerking and stuff, so that's more, probably where my mind, like, oh, okay, so I'm just gonna get the club. You can make a song for know? P Valley. See, yeah, that's, see? See, that's true, that's why I said I never yeah. asked myself, that, that's a good question. Yeah, like, I feel like, I feel like as artists, like, you know, once you get into it, it becomes one dimensional, because you're so focused on just making it to a label and right. just making it to the radio but there are music you know movie producers and people that's looking for placements and things yep. to put onto a big screen that are reached further really than the radio expanded. i never that's that's why i said that was a good i never expanded my mind to that yeah. but absolutely you like, should think about that make come up with a song like a, a tv jingle or something yeah. you know, that'd be dope I'm like okay every day you got kids singing your jingle you know, a, a tissue jingle. You like talk about ass. <laughs> <laughs> Make a jingle about tissue. You know, it'd be dope. It'd be dope. Okay, so where do you see yourself within the next, I don't want to say five, within the next, no, where do you see your career in the next six months? Um, as far as like I, social media, I'm 
media. I'm hoping I'm getting my views up. I'm hoping more people are knowing who I am, still traveling, still trying to network, still trying to get my name out there and pushing myself, but most of all, not giving up, like determined, focused, not losing my track, still, I don't know. I hope to be maybe different movement, moving, you know, more like probably Atlanta somewhere, trying to really push my stuff. We is um, full. No, just play. <laughs> I used to live in Lithonia though. Oh, East Oh my gosh, so far away. I didn't really. Yeah, I didn't know nobody. I didn't like it though. You didn't like it. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So if let's say we were to go back on lockdown, and I mean you can't get booked for a show, like what is your alternate like? Like what is your plan in order to get your music out there and to reach the people that you need to reach, like? As far as content goes, like, have you sat down and thought about ways to reach, like, a wide audience of people? Um, I don't know. I'll probably just keep working on music, trying to drop something social media-wise, maybe going live and doing little, you know. I don't know. That's a good, that's a good question, too. I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as far as that, though, I feel like, Live, doing different stuff, trying to maybe CD. Make you a Twitch account yeah, and a Bingo. Like, bingo pay. Bingo. See, I, I need to pay. get into that. I've seen that. I heard you can get paid for being yeah, on there. Yeah, they get there. paid. Get on there, rap, look cute. Yeah, yeah just. You know, let's see some money. Period. <laughs> period. Good. But uh, then I heard, I, have, I heard people been doing the OnlyFans, but dropping their music. And yeah, they drop their fans on OnlyMusic. Not even doing, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, exactly. Oh. There's so many different ways to make money. It's 2021. It's hard to get it, but you can do it. Yes, if you, it's, but that's why I feel like moving to Atlanta would be good because I ain't gonna lie, everybody out here be hustlers. You see the little kids on Thanks. the side of the street. Like yeah, everybody, shout out to the water boys. No, real shout shit. out to the water boys. Real yeah. shit. Like, it's just, it's so many ways to make money. That's facts. Okay, so can you tell the people where to follow you, where to get your music, and you what can, you're performing? Yeah, it's Tari. You can follow me on Instagram at India, I N D I A H Dior, uh, bitch on Twitter, ambitious, N D I N D I E. You can, uh, my YouTube, India Dior, and Facebook, India Dior. I'm, I'll still post on Facebook. <laughs> okay, y'all. So this is Keisha on with India Dior, bitch, with Verify ATL, PG Plug Media, and we are checking out.